and we are back and we are headed to another part of North London to do another extensive explore. I suppose this is the first of the raw explores. We're going to find somewhere new. Let's go. Wow, this looks a bit run down. Geez, that school is noisy there. Even I know that guy's name. I just saw a couple of very unsavory characters. All right, there are some dodgy deals going on in this park. Just saw a drug deal. There's a lot of guys on bikes seemingly doing not very much. It's quite known for these big murals. I'm not going to linger any longer than necessary. Now the one-way street the right way. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh shit. Hope there's no jumps to catch me out. Let's go and have a look at the police arresting someone. Places like that. Asimita, right. Asimita, Asimita. So we're in currently the borough of Haringey. And this road we're riding along might sound familiar to some of you. This goes by the name of White Hart Lane. And that might give you a clue as to where we're headed today. Where does White Hart Lane end up? Hmm. So let's go and find out. But of course, in case you haven't guessed, we are going to be exploring all around Tottenham today. Yes, Tottenham as in Spurs, Tottenham Hotspurs, football and everything else Tottenham related. So it should be a good one. Not an area I know particularly well. I do have a connection with it, which I'll explain later. But other than that, uh, I don't have a lot of connection. So it'll be as new to me as it is to some of you watching maybe. So let's find out what Tottenham's got to offer. It's time for a change of gloves already. I've got a feeling I might be overheating today. There we go, that's better. Well again, we're here right in the middle of the morning in the daytime, so it's pretty quiet. Not a lot going on right now. Everybody's gotten to work, they're already there. Coach and Horses pub. Looks good. So I think what I'm gonna do is make it up as I go along. Welcome to the Angel Edmonton Shopping Centre. That's a new one on me, haven't been here before. Let's hang a right somewhere. This is kind of the high street. I'm not seeing anything particularly interesting here. New builds going up, more nice brickwork. Quite nice, actually. They do a lot in this style these days. I rather like it. Still don't know if I want to live on high street like this. Again, just like any other sort of busy high street, I suppose. It's not known for its upper class areas, I guess, is Tottenham. I think I've seen enough of this, so let's go down here. Let's make it up. There's a guy behind me on a bike, I'm just keeping an eye on him. Just had to do a bit of checking behind me there to make sure there wasn't a guy on my tail. Just throw a few zigzags and I'll lose him. And as usual, I've ridden myself into a dead end or a cul-de-sac or something. <laughs> oh, hang on, we've got a right turn. I might get out of this yet. Yes, that was lucky. Ooh, hey, I tell you what. We have just come across the industrial estate, I think. This is good, this is a good start. Okay, this could be good to have a look around to start with. Massive great loon fang on the left. Seems to be a bit of a food hub, as in commercial food, industrial food, you know, that sort of thing. Industrial food, does that exist? You know what I mean, restaurants and the like. I'd say this van's been here a while. Quick look through this estate. It's always worth riding through an estate. See how different they are to the previous one. I mean, this must be pretty damn rough, I've got to say. Wow, this looks a bit run down. Well, I was a quick look through there because I don't want to lose my bearings too much. I keep spotting things, look. Things like, what are they, seahorses? Nothing is ever really lost to us as long as we remember it. Quite right. I just found myself taking another little irresistible looking side street. Just because why not, you know? If I'm trying to give you a flavour of the area, this is what we've got around here. Can you see that thing? Not the scaffolding, up there. It could be our first major thing. Let's go see. Oh yeah. Well, I'm guessing those of you that are any kind of football fan will know what this is. I'm not a football fan put that out there straight away. 
you know, I don't mind it, it's fine, but I'm not gonna go to the games and what have you. Right here we have a new stadium with the wind whistling around its columns there. <laughs> wow, that's freaky. I mean, it is pretty impressive. I have been here, I've been inside. So there we have it. Spurs football ground, formerly known as White Hart Lane. Well, maybe it still is. I don't think they renamed it, did they? Sorry for the lack of facts on that. But, you know, let's face it, if you're a football fan, you'll know all this stuff. So the earlier stadium, the capacity used to be much higher, but it was then reduced to 36,000 after the introduction of all seater stadiums. And I think some thought that wasn't enough. So the new stadium behind me opened on the 3rd of April, 2019, before the first competitive Premier League game against Crystal Palace, where Spurs won 2-0. <laughs> This capacity of the new stadium now is 62,850. So, not quite double, but not far off double the capacity of the old stadium when it was changed to all-seater. So there you go, Spurs. There we are. Hey, hello. Here's a windy one today. I hope all this is coming out all right. I guess this is one of the main entrances. Well, it says exit only there, <laughs> but it's for something else. Yeah, this is a no, e no entry, no entry. Jeez, that school is noisy there. I'm glad they're not bothering me for just cruising around on the pavement. <laughs> Bit of traffic on the high street. If you want to get your kit, that's where you can get that. I saw something about, um, a sky it's got a skyline walk you can do overlooking the stadium. And that's where you book it. There you go. All you Spurs fans around the world, one day maybe you'll make it here. Just found something else for Spurs fans to look at. Harry Kane. Even I know that guy's name. He's that famous. Huh? Alright, we're going to head to another part of Tottenham. There's something else I want to show you on the other side, a bit more east of here. Is this the wrong side of the tracks, or is that the wrong side of the tracks? Or is there no wrong side of the tracks? Who knows? I just saw a couple of very unsavory characters. Gotta keep my eyes open for a bit. Yeah, you don't stop much in these parts. If you can help it. Right, what we got here? So this behind me, chiming away, is Bruce Castle, a 16th century manor house. It was grade one listed in 1949. It's thought to be one of the oldest surviving brick-built houses in England. It's got a detached Tudor tower next to it, which is thought to have been used as a well, or maybe a dairy. It's now a museum holding the archives of the London Borough of Harringay, which is where we are in the Borough of Harringay. So we'll have a quick look at it, and we'll have a look at that little tower if I can find it. This is the castle, come museum, come archive storage place. And here's the tower, not too hard to find. <laughs> So this is made out of local brick, apparently. There we go. Tower, brick castle. So not a bad looking little park. Seems okay on the surface of it. It's not one of your classy parks, but it's a park. It's got everything you need. All right, there are some dodgy deals going on in this park, so I'm gonna get myself out of here. I don't wanna draw attention to myself with all this kit on. So, we're going to move on. There's Tottenham. Woo. It's a bit on the edge. Just saw a drug deal. Right there in the park. So, Lord's Mead it is. And usually, I would normally like to give you a little tour of the park. But in this case, I'm going to give it a miss. But the place I'm headed now is possibly one of the dodgiest areas around. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. I was hoping to ride through it and take a look and maybe tell you a little bit about the history when we get there, but I'm really not so sure about that, that now. We'll see what happens. There's a lot of guys on bikes seemingly doing not very much. Yeah, I wonder what they are doing. As long as they stay away from me, then we're all good. Well, that's the end of Tottenham part one. We'll be back next week but things get more interesting as I explore an unusual residential estate with a dark history 
Have some fun on a set of mini roads. This is epic. Try my luck at a bit of BMX-style cyclocross. Oh, shit. And find that the police are still on the case. <laughs>